So over here we have a brand new pet cow. Say hey to the cow. What's up, buddy? There was a murderer in this direction. Beware. What the fuck is wrong with you, huh? They're a bunch of stinky. <gasps> it's pink! Clara? Clarissa. Clara? There's two pigs over there. I don't like this pig. What are you talking about? What makes you not like these pigs? You literally... I just don't like them. Fine, I'm killing you. Don't kill them! Leave them! Now let's go see... Oh, it seems to turn dark. It's fine, we have netherite armor. What could possibly go wrong? Lots, mm, mm, lots of things with this me. Beautiful. I hear a skeleton. Are you getting shot? No, it's just nighttime outside. <laughs> you scared me. Oh, sorry. I was like, something gotta ran up, up on, on me. My, I gotta check up on my slaves. I mean, my, uh, <clears throat> my villagers. They are slaves. They're a bunch of slaves. You know why? I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna go there. <clears throat> <laughs> in this one box. <laughs> That's being a slave. Stop! I was opening it. Well, I gotta flatten this place out so for the raids, for future raids and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna jump off this thing up here. The water. I am. Dagmatic. No, we're not gonna eat them. Would you eat a dog? Yeah, I'm Asian. <laughs> yeah, I think you're doing good. This is going to be a boring episode here because I'm just going to be doing nothing but mining. Anything wrong with that? It don't have to be. If they don't think it's interesting, we have to talk about something interesting. All right, talk about something interesting. So tell, tell, tell people a story. I don't know. What story would I tell? A story. A story about what? You have to give me a topic. Yes. Well, yeah. Activity-wise. You can talk about work on stream. Or on stream for this video. Mm, that's just tough stuff. I think it's that's funny. Listening to you talk about work is funny. I just did chill. The only problem is I just can't do it. I hate work. It's becoming miserable. Oh, there's a zombie. Let me kill him. Oh, and his cousin's trying to beat me up? Really, guys? I mean, something always happens over there. Oh, I forgot to tell you, but the guy that is the head of the nurses for that situation that happened. Yeah. Um, he took her side. He took Sally's side. Wow. I was so like, of course he would take the nurse's side because it's a nurse. Oh, explain, explain what happened. Explain what happened. At work, there's a bunch of different jobs, like surf one, two, three, four, whatever. Because you, I work in a nursing home in a kitchen, so obviously each position has different roles and different things they're supposed to be doing. I was server two on Sunday, yesterday. That was yesterday? Yeah. And uh, we have a list so people can come in the dining room and eat or they can eat in their rooms. So the people that don't come in the dining room, they eat in their rooms and there's only specific people that we are supposed to be taking orders from that are on the 200 hall. It's only four people as of right now that we are supposed to be getting orders from. It's not the whole hall, something like that. Anyway, so I was doing my orders on that hall, which like I said, it's only four of them. One of them doesn't speak English. So three of them only have to go to three rooms on that hall to get special orders from as far as lunch goes, the lunch. CNA would nickname her Squabbles, thanks to Karen. <laughs> So, CNA squabbles tries to come up to me and she says, as I was leaving the 200 hall, she said, could you do me a favor and go in every room? And at first, like, I was in a rush because I had to go to the 300 hall as well. So I just like, uh-huh, just, just whatever. I said, uh-huh, and kept going. I just kept, you know, chucking along. And anyway, um, I go to the 300 hall and I end up going back to the 200 hall because I see my favorite resident and I was talking to her and I squabbled, comes up to me and talking about, did you go into each and every room and pick up those slips? And I said, what slips do you want me to get? She said, these people, they, not be, they don't be getting what they want for lunch and they have orders. And I said, there are only specific people that I'm supposed to be getting orders from. So no, it's not my job to go into each and every room and pick up slips that's not my job we can't have 20 orders anyway so that's just not how it works and she turned around and she goes i just can't 
And I threw my hands up at her. And then another CNA come down the hallway. She said, what's wrong? So I explained it to her. And, you know, she was just like, yeah, I don't know what's wrong with squabbles. I don't know what's wrong with her. And I said, yeah, I don't freaking know either. I said, I'm not doing all that. So about, probably about 15, 20 minutes later, here comes squabbles. She comes barging through the kitchen door. It's like, well, I need to speak to the kitchen manager. I need to speak to the kitchen manager. And I come out and she said it to one of the other cooks or something like that. And I had to explain the situation to like four different people what had happened. And then you had, uh, I don't really even know what he is, but we'll call him Chad. So Chad, you know, he's like in charge of the nurses or whatever. And anyway, he comes in there and I guess he must've called my manager who then called the AM cook and tried to understand the situation. And it's a bunch of BS. And so anyway, so Chad had said like, oh, we're gonna have to have a further discussion about this. And basically today I find out that the guy that is in charge of Chad. So he's like the head head of the nurses. He's top of the top, in charge of the nurses. So they're the guy that is in charge of Chad. So he's the head of the head of the head nurses, pretty much. He was texting my mother, trying to understand the situation. And basically Chad had told him that we denied, that I denied orders from residents. And I said, that's not what happened. I didn't deny orders from anybody. That CNA came up to me and told me I should go into every room. And I said, I'm not doing that. If she wanted or she knew the people that had orders, why didn't she go into the rooms and bring me the slips of paper? Why would I go and try to find them? This is not hide and seek. This is not hide and seek. That's not hide and seek. So no, I don't think so. Anyway, it's been blown out of proportion. And you know, the head head of the nurses was backing it up saying, well, we can't deny anybody a special meal request, blah, blah, blah. And it's not happened. But my mother had to try to explain to him the whole situation. And I don't know why everybody's asking everybody else. They need to be asking me, because I was there. I need to be asked because I was the one that got to an argument with her. Because she had a little attitude. Nobody cares whether it all squabbles. Anyway, she's ridiculous. That's what happened. It's hard to understand unless you work there. It doesn't make any sense unless you work there.